But the number one most important thing, guys, if you want to start up a nursing YouTube channel is... Are you listening? Nurse Pass. Beast Mode. Grind. Yeah. Yeah. What's going on guys, it's your boy Brad back with another video and what I wanted to do in this video is you know, I've gotten a lot of questions from a lot of people out there, believe it or not, who have been thinking about starting up their own nursing YouTube channel, which I recommend you do by the way. But because I've been getting this question a lot, what I wanted to do is I wanted to provide you guys with a couple of tips to hopefully help you, you know, get you off your feet and get you going and making videos on YouTube. So uh, the first tip that I have for you guys is know your purpose, know what you're making videos for, why you're making them. Do you want to make videos simply to document your own journey uh, in nursing school so that other people can watch it or for your own purpose later on? In life? Or do you want to make educational videos, things that you're learning in nursing school that you can maybe pass on to your fellow nursing students? Just whatever it is, know why you're making the YouTube channel and state that clearly in your videos. Let people know, hey, my name is such and such. I'm putting out this kind of content and this would more so be for like your channel trailer. I'm putting out this kind of content. If you subscribe, this is what you're going to be getting from me, but please don't let your purpose for getting into YouTube be money. That's going to, uh, greatly decrease your probability of success and increase your rate of burnout. Okay. Going into YouTube for money is the worst thing to do. My second tip for you is in regards to the equipment. Okay. You don't have to have a lot of money in order to start up a YouTube channel. Honestly, you don't have to have any money at all, but if you want decent quality on your videos, a little money is required. Um, I'm currently using a Nikon camera that's not required. Whenever I first started making videos, I was using my iPhone and I honestly still do make some of my videos with my iPhone and and <clears throat> that's a decent enough camera and it will suffice and you can get some good quality videos with that. So if you have a smartphone, uh, you can certainly use the camera from that. But one thing I do recommend is lighting. I suggest that you go maybe on Amazon, get you, get you some decent lighting, um, that, you know, studio kind of lighting. You can get that stuff for 20, 30 bucks and it will improve the quality of your videos. So even if you have a cheaper kind of camera, lighting goes a long way. I recommend that. Um, as far as editing softwares are concerned, I still to this day use Windows Movie Maker. It's a free editing software. If you have a Mac, use iMovie. Those free editing softwares, as far as nursing YouTube videos are concerned, are perfect and you don't need to go spend money on an editing software, in my opinion. My third tip is once you once you already have your initial uh, equipment, start making content, guys. Okay, and I know one of my problems whenever I first started making content was I was so concerned with sounding stupid because I wanted people to to enjoy my content. Um, but what I came to learn is this this entire YouTube journey is a learning process. You're gonna put out videos that aren't that great, where the quality isn't that good, where you're just rambling in one take. But as you make more videos, as you learn the ins and outs of your editing software, and as you learn more about your subscribers and what your subscribers want to see from you, then you'll begin to develop and come into your own on YouTube. So I recommend, don't be afraid. If you want to make videos, start pumping out content. Another really big thing that is important on YouTube, and it's very true, it is important, are thumbnails. You need to have decent looking thumbnails, okay? Um, a nice picture of yourself with the title of whatever your video is, you know, you want it to pop, you want it to be eye catching because if you just have a generic, uh, a generic white pic white background with just text on it for every video that has worked for some people like nurse Nicole, for instance, a lot of her early videos, all of the thumbnails are like that and she made it work. And I think that there are anomalies like that out there, but I, my recommendation is a nice, uh, quality picture of yourself um, with with some nice bright text on it that pops and is appealing to the eye. One of the most common mistakes that I have seen, please don't do this. This, if I see this personally, okay, I've watched, <clears throat> because I'm in YouTube now, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos. If I see this, and I do see some top YouTubers still doing this, if I see this, it's an immediate uh, turn off and I won't watch the video at all. It's when people have thumbnails or if I click on the video and start watching it and the entire screen is vertical. If the entire screen is vertical and you got those two black bars on the side, that I'll, I'll immediately turn it off. So make sure if you are going to use an iPhone, <laughs> uh, turn that thing horizontal. You want a widescreen view where the entire screen is taken up. I'm sure you've seen videos, both videos, both of those kinds of videos. Please 
have it horizontal and don't have your phone vertical. That's it's just it doesn't look good. It's just not appealing to the eye. You want your viewer to be able to see everything and not have to just see a vertical view. I don't know. Maybe that's just my own little pet peeve, but I think it's pretty universally true. So after you've got your video recorded and you got yourself a nice thumbnail and you're ready to upload, you begin uploading. Okay. There are three crucial things in f as far as your uh, information in your de in your video is concerned, and they are important. One is the title. You want to have a catchy title that includes keywords that if you were somebody going to look for whatever your video's content contains, how would they type that into YouTube search bar? And you want to title your videos accordingly. If you go back and you look at all of my videos and you see the way in which I've titled them there are certain keywords included that let you know this is what the video is about and more than likely if I was somebody on YouTube search engine typing it in this is what I might type in that way your video reaches more people I hope that made sense the second important thing is your description you want to have a good decent description letting people know this is what my video is gonna be about now here lately because I've amassed a certain level of subscribers I don't necessarily have to have full long in-depth descriptions anymore so if you looked at mine you might not see that anymore but if you go back to the older videos you'll see where I had an, uh, a description let people know because another important key for those who are growing in with their descriptions and this is another reason I don't do it anymore is uh, their Whenever people are searching for videos, there are keywords that are included in descriptions that come up in searches as well. So that is another way by which you can boost your uh, your reach with your videos. And the last thing that I, I recommend are, as far as that information, whenever you're uploading your video, are the tags. Okay? You want to have, and that's where you put all the keywords, nursing, nursing school, nurse education, so on and so forth, that really might appeal to whoever is out there in these search engines typing things in. Nursing school tips, that's what I need. I need some nursing school tips. I need some help with nursing school. That's where you actually type in those tags. Um, but the number one most important thing, guys, if you want to start up a nursing YouTube channel is have fun with it. Again, don't go into it for money. So if you don't go into it for money, it won't feel like a job. It'll feel like a hobby and something fun that you like doing. So please have fun with it. If your goal is to help people, get on there and help people. Just start pumping out content, guys. It's a fun journey. It's rewarding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all that I got for you. It's been your boy, Brad. Uh, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below. Let me know if you're interested in starting up a YouTube channel. You know, if you plan on taking these tips. If you don't, if you already have a YouTube channel, let me know if you've tried some of these things and how they've worked for you. Uh, either way, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. You'll catch me here every week putting out content. Nurse Bass, soon to be, and I'll catch you in the next video.